show. Uh, Josh Gibson departs. He's a preliminary finalist, and this bloke's already in from the Collingwood Footy Club. Dane Swan, everybody. <laughs> into each other in the hallway with their stern words? Yeah, there was a couple of looks. My <laughs> <laughs> games have begun. Yeah, he, he jumped over and tried to spoil the ball over me. But, yeah. um, they wanted a ball there. So. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you do with your weekend off? Do you, do, you um, get to, do you have to train? Are there any commitments that you've so I've always got the weekend off yep. this weekend, so um, get away. And the last weekend, obviously, before... Um, the last two games, you can get away and do something with your friends or family. So the boys will do what they want. And um, a few went to the footy last night, and that's better. Just cruise and get ready yep. for, for the week's training yep. ahead. Yep. You can't do anything if you're a Collingwood player without having a camera on you, Dane, as you well know. Yep. And last night, your teammates did get together in a in a box and have a look. Terrified. At... <laughs> they look terrified. That's what the Lemo box. says. Do you? I mean, does this kind of thing appeal to you? Were you there? Yeah, I was night? there. I was down on the fence. Were you? Away. No, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I was actually there, but I actually seen the camera coming and, and uh, just slipped up the back. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Camera you, shower. What yeah. Was, what was yeah. the feeling, as much as you're willing to share, from the from your teammates um, watching the Hawks? Oh, we haven't really had a chat yet because um, a few of them left at half time, but me, Bucks, and a few others stayed. But um, you know, they had a great first half, and it was just a Sydney comeback. But I think the Hawks might have, you know, took the foot off the pedal a little bit and. Sydney are a good side and they got back in it, but I think the Hawks were just a bit too good and, and deserved to be in a prelim. You've been travelling very well. It seems like the press and a few people are punching away, trying to find weaknesses, trying to trying to derail the Collingwood the juggernaut, which is heading towards another flag. And I have to ask you about Mark Neal. Does this decision at all, a couple of weeks out, uh, for, for, for your, your centre coach to leave... Uh, does it disrupt you in any way? Does it affect uh, you personally? It'll probably enhance our midfield. He's been, he's been holding us back. Quickly they turn. When you leave Collingwood, you leave Collingwood, don't you? Eddie right. told us that. So, um, yeah. But, uh, no, nah, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to know because he's, we've had him all year, but, um, you know... I'm sure Bucks or Craig McRae or whoever they decide when we well, get into training Monday, they'll do a great job. Is there any chance Hawthorne could rent him for a week? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. You can just rent me for a week. Rent you for yeah, a week. The price right. is right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, um, who uh, is hard to read these days, was fairly philosophical about the decision of Neil to leave, and here's what he had to say on radio. Oh. Uh, Picasso was asked one day, uh, "Would you do a painting?" And he did it. And he said and he did it in about 15 minutes. The boat, and he said, "That's uh, two thousand dollars." The boat said, "What for 15 minutes?" And he said, "No, no, for a lifetime." Yeah. And if there's uh, anyone who'd know anything about the art world, it'd have to be this bloke, I reckon. Um, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Yeah, you're a man of fashion. What are you? Are, yeah. you, are you a beret man? Uh, I am of... not, but Mick certainly is, obviously. But I'm just amazed that Mick was around the Picasso era. Dane, what insights can you give us into Mark Neal? Why would Melbourne want him as coach, and what will be his distinguishing feature? Yeah, well, I think he's a school teacher by trade as well. So I think he's a you know great communicator and um, knows how to get his point across and. I think um, he sort of really drove the, the midfield set up and structures this year and Mick give him, obviously Mick's a big rap for him, give him sort of carte blanche to go do what he wants with us midfield and mm-hmm. he sort of doesn't, Mick never comes over the top about us, Mick, he just lets Mark do his thing. And wow, that Mick, is big though, isn't it? Yeah, Mick, I mean, yeah. the midfield's obviously the engine room and Absolutely. he's been driving at this guy. Yeah, so he's sort of everything we do out there is was run by him in pre-season and, you know, he obviously asks input guys like Pendles and Bolling myself but, you know, for the most of the time, it's all Mark. It's all Neil. He's been Neil's baby. Who's going to take over this next week? Do you know? Uh, I heard Joffa was going <laughs> to. <laughs> hey, tell us about. Tell us about. You're in ripping corner tonight, and, and you've been in ripping. Oh we're not surprised actually, because your form since you come back from Arizona has been nothing short of unbelievable. You're averaging about 36 possessions a week, or some ridiculous number since coming back. What What happened over there? What did you do? It's no. like a mystical place for us that we know nothing about. What like, goes on? It's like the new Tibet or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's um, we got some sun. That's that's what we got over there. We got so you went sun. sunbathing for all, <laughs> yeah, ten days or something. I started and water. I thought we we're doing something naughty, but no, uh, that clearly is not the case. So, so they can leave just, me alone. So it's flat out the whole time, though, training wise uh, over there. Uh, not we don't train 
15 hours a day. It was pretty much when we went over in the middle of the year, we trained uh, probably three, four hours a day, but it was pretty solid. And then it was just good to freshen up and get away from the fishbowl that is Melbourne around and footy. And freshen up you did, because I follow you on Twitter, Dane Swan, and I saw you post this picture from Arizona. Uh, <laughs> there you are, doing a bit of shopping. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, that was one of our main sessions, actually. That's what we said. <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah. supermarket points or something. Yeah. <laughs> Good fun. Are they still target testing you? Uh, oh, they, they have been. You haven't been done for 10 days or something, so it's okay. there. It's, I've slept well. It would be annoying. You've, <laughs> you've be, it would be annoying for you. But anyway, the Brownlow's coming up, and you're still a chance. I believe you're a chance mm. to win the Brownlow. I know you are going to go to the Brownlow. You, you were talk, you've been talking about not going. Uh, I would like not to go. Yeah, but, but your um, girlfriend wants to go. We know your girlfriend wants to go. She was in, the, was in the paper. She reported <laughs> the dress that she's going to wear apparently is a, a black and nude dress. Awesome. Which is... Um, <laughs> yeah. I no, know. well, I mean, you, you've you got form on this front anyway. The, the, I'm not doing the outfit it. you wore last year was quite revealing, I believe. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like a really tough manpower, isn't it? Just a bow tie and I'm done. <laughs> I'd give it a run around again this year if I were you. It was a good look. Oh, well, yeah. yep, bow tie and I'm good. Yep. <laughs> Dave, welcome back to the show. It's before the game. Dane Swan, superstar from the Collingwood Footy Club, our special guest, Mickey Malloy. They're, they're a relaxed bunch down at Collingwood. Uh, you, you seem to know where you are and you're travelling comfortably and you don't mind getting a bit lippy with some of the journalists. <laughs> and I, I quite like this. Here's, a, here's an example of a young up-and-comer Pendlebury having a go. <laughs> Uh, we don't have a match this week and a week off just to sort of free up a bit mentally and physically. How does the week off work you guys, Scott? Uh, you don't play this weekend. Well done. <laughs> to see that and personally he's learning from the master which is yourself now we've got any number of grabs we could play here but one of my personal favorites is one uh, after you'd received the 96 point thumping at Geelong and you were door stopped out the front of the club the boys concerned about last night at all? no we we're all happy with it yeah. he's good yeah happy to lose by 96 points oh, lost by 100 disappointed we didn't lose by 100 <laughs> yeah, that's just one of many isn't it Ah uh, well, you ask a stupid question. You get a stupid answer, I suppose, and really. Yeah, yeah, and that that's why you are this year's 2011 MVP Smart Ass of the Year. It's going to be the only one I'll win all year. So. It's fantastic. Hey, uh, I wouldn't mind getting off a quick Torp of the Week mm. if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Torp of the Week. Have we got yeah, an opener? Yeah. No. Yeah. By the way, did Fitzy do it last week? No, I hate no, it. I hated it. it. Oh, he refused to do it. He didn't want it. He didn't rate it. He didn't want anything to do with it. a very powerful enemy. <laughs> this is, OK, here we go. From the week, uh, let's go. It's not an embarrassment of riches, I've got to say, because it's finals time, but there's a good one from Matna. I like this one from Wycross. Bang! Look at the hang time here. That's up there for a long time. And Mickey, at least I can put him away in the finals. That's right, mate. Burgoyne, here he goes. That's a low hammer, straight up the guts. Good to see it at this stage hang of the year. I'm thinking of going no, with no. that one. I've no, 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 missed one. Has all the hallmarks of a classic trophy. Swanee wants. He was got. Swanee's got another nomination. Good on you, Swanee, for mentioning yeah, this. Chris no Jard in the in the uh, oh. final against Essendon last week. Have a look. This is an inside out torp. It, so it, watch this. That is torped straight through the middle. The great man. There you go. There's your winner this week. Oh. Have a look, seriously, have a look at it. It's an inside out torp. It is. It is. It is. It's it's not a warning torp of the week. It's a corkscrew. Oh. Give it to the great man. Oh. Hey, Swanee, off the back of that Geelong game, a lot of people, a lot of people have said oh, Geelong's got Collingwood covered. They're in better nick. They're healthier. They're fitter. Their list is in better condition. Do you do you think that Geelong's going past you now? Do you feel like they're the side to mm. be beaten for this year's flag? Um, well, internally we, we we don't think so. We believe that we've got a game plan structure to beat anyone on any given day. I really thought you were going to say yes then. <laughs> I was really thinking about it, but I thought I'd get in trouble come Monday. So you one serious one. Does the commentary to that degree suit you? Um, who's commentary? Well, the commentary that Andy's talking oh, about. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really worry. So we don't, we're not fussed about external um, commentary and things like that. That's why we probably answer questions like me and Pendles do, because we're not really fussed about it, and we'll just go along doing our thing, and hopefully um, with Tom on ready back, we put in a good show for it. It's a night. good attitude. Hey, it's funny, I hate to interrupt, mate. We've got some breaking news. I don't know if you saw the story during the week about two alleged mistresses of Richard Pratt have come out mm. fighting over his estate. Mm. Well, a third mistress, what? No. a third, has oh, now come out. She works God, here at what? Channel 10. Oh, no. uh, let's have a look. Bronwyn Malloy. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> claiming to have had an affair. Trust so. me, she, she won't be that expensive. Half a dozen Bacardi breezes and a taxi. That is very <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Swanee, all the best for know, next yeah. weekend. Good on you. Darren Swanee, a very special guest. That's it for us.